Example 9. Determine whether the line x equal to 3 plus 8t, y equal to 4 plus 5t, z equal to minus 3 minus t, is parallel to the plane x minus 3y plus 5z equal to 12. First, let's focus on the equation of this line. This equation is called a parametric equation of a line. And this line pass through a point, the coordinate 3, 4, minus 3. You can get this by substituting t equal to 0. So the line pass through the point 3, 4, negative 3. Now the line also has a direction. Let's call this direction V. The direction is given by the vector 8, 5, negative 1. We can read it off from this number 8, 5, negative 1. So we know the direction of the line is given by 8, 5, minus 1. This means that this line is parallel to the vector 8, 5, minus 1. Next, consider the plane given by the equation x minus 3y plus 5z equal to 12. The vector perpendicular to the plane is called normal to the plane. Let's call this vector n. And this vector n, 1 minus 3, 5, where you can read off from the coefficient of x, which is 1, minus 3, and 5. Putting the line and the plane together, we look at the equation of a line. Direction of a line is given by 8, 5, negative 1. And the vector perpendicular to the plane is 1, negative 3, 5. Is the line parallel to the plane? We know that the line is parallel to the plane only when V perpendicular to N. Because when the direction V of the line is perpendicular to N, then the line will be parallel to the plane. To check whether V dot N is equal to zero. V is given by 8, 5, negative 1. N is given by 1, negative 3, 5. So is the dot product equal to 0? Let's compute the dot product at 8 times 1, which is 8, plus 5 times minus 3, which is minus 15, plus negative 1 times 5, which is negative 5. And we know that this is not equal to 0. That means that V is not perpendicular to N. Therefore, we know the line is not parallel to the plane.